Hello everyone, this is Sisclops, and I'm back yet again, playing Nuts and Bolts Torqued. And, uh, yeah, we moved. We have moved to the crag. The crag. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we moved here. Uh, it's probably about four hours from the last time that I actually, uh, did a video. So, yeah, I did a bunch of mining. I got a lag spike, and, uh, <laughs> I moved all my stuff. Um, we... Yeah, I made two more energy cubes. So we got two more energy cubes. We have two more generators. Uh, probably took me about an hour and a half to move everything up here. Um, just draining liquids there. Don't think I did anything really special. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Um, I did automate the furnaces very simply. So just transfer node from there down to there. And, oh, I knew that would be out of fuel soon. Filled up the rest recently, but not that. Uh, I made the smeltery a little bigger. Uh, and I made some weapons. Um, our pickaxe. Titanium tool rod that was given to us. I didn't change that one. Uh, I made a short bow. Which, for some reason, I can't see. <laughs> but it says platinum in a string. Uh, I made a sword. So it's bronze, tool rod, mandolin, ardite. Easy stuff. Mandolin, you can just uh, cobalt and ardite in the smeltery at equal amounts. Good to go. Uh, and my arrow. My arrow is just reeds, uh, mandolin again, and the feather. I just took feather because, well, accuracy is a good thing. And uh, they're not great. I mean, mostly, I just wanted it mostly to have ranged weapons because I did do some mining in the nether as well just to see what it was like, what, what kind of things you could get there. Seems pretty good because you can double up on almost everything there, it seems like. Um, when you bring the ores back, you have to smelt them first. And then you usually get two for most things. So, pretty decent. Um, so, yeah. That is what I did between videos. Uh, I'll make proper bridges at some point. Just wasn't getting to it yet. And, uh, yeah. That's that. And, okay. What are we going to get to today? Today, we're going to finally get our tool forge. We're finally going to have it. It's going to be a thing. Um... Oh, also, I completed this quest. We have our titanium now. I got 10 ingots. Uh, I got that. I actually got more than that. We got 26. I did some mining. I got some bauxite. It's from like 44 to 60 something. I forget the range for bauxite, but it's around there. Um, also found two nether titanium, which you can smelt down and then grind. And you get two each out of those. So that was pretty good too. Um, so yeah, I got that done now. So we do have titanium. We could get into this and into this now. But I want this tool forge. I want my hammer. Mining is so painful. <laughs> it actually didn't take too long. I went through about 2,000 blocks. Well, I had to repair this twice. Yeah, around 2,000 blocks. So, yeah. Not too bad. But yes, we one more time. We're going to get into Patania. There we go. So we're going to get some floral fertilizer going. We're going to get that going right away. So the floral fertilizer is right here. You can either get these this ash here um, from... The cinder plinth or you can create it i actually did both ways because at first i was going to take a completely different route and not do embers then i decided i was going to need the stuff anyway i might as well make it that's why we did last video um so yeah let's get on to that uh let's see here and you make get a, i think it was 16 per yeah you get a lot of it so we don't even need a ton of this stuff uh i have ash pile here i have bone meals don't know how much this we're gonna make we don't need a ton like I said and we're gonna need cactus green because that's us you can use one random die and that's what I'm gonna use this and we're gonna need some lapis boom I also made a bunch of these crates so I finally used all my impregnated cases I'm gonna have to make some more actually because I used them all up uh, just so I have the circle stuff I'll set one of these up and like it'll be nothing but uh, Patania stuff do you ever notice I do that? I get talking, and every once in a while I have to look at something and go, what am I working on? Oh yeah, Batania. I, I do that all the time in videos. It's hilarious. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, no, 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 no. We need this jazz, don't we? Yes, we need some of this. There we go. And, oh, helps if you actually use a crafting table. Oop. So how much of this do we want to make? Let's make two stacks. Two stacks should be more than enough. And uh, 
we'll just work from there. Uh, we are going to need, I'm trying to think. Ooh, almost walked off. Five white petals to get started. Uh, I moved all my farms over here. I only moved two cows. I'm going to have to start feeding them some wheat. I wasn't moving them all. <laughs> I guess I should, I should go back and just, uh, I should off them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to happen. I need the leather. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do this. I guess we need three white flowers to get going. But once we have that, we'll be good to go. And you don't need this much floral fertilizer. You basically just need enough to get three white flowers and then one of every flower. After that, you can kind of plant them, then shear them, and you'll get a version of the flower that gives you two petals each. So, and then you just replant, rinse and repeat over and over. But uh, that uses some bone meal, of course, but we use bone meal to make this anyway, so not really a big deal. And get this going. There's a couple oddball things we're gonna need, and we're gonna need a machine actually to make the uh, pool, but let's at least get the petal apothecary going, I guess. Uh, we're gonna need those. Let's just, uh, Whoa, keep an arrow on me. This is going to be the Batania chest, so just do that. I didn't take anything else, did I? Nope. Let's do this, do that. And we're going to need Pure Daisy. So the Pure Daisy, well, we need the Petal Apothecary first, so let's look at that. Petal Poth. Not a pock. There we go, Petal Poth. And I've locked my bar. There we go. So we're going to need two of these. So we're going to need signed dye. So we're going to need cactus green and blue dye. Not a big deal. We have it. We're going to need eight stone. Uh, we're going to need two aquamarines and two, I guess those are regular slabs, and a mystical white. So let's get on that. We need eight stone. There we go. Uh, did I put my dyes in there? Or did I put them back in? They're right there. There we go. Oh, it was wasting my red dye. Must have ran out of green. Okay, let's make our temple block. So our temple block is just gonna be this, this, this. And if I can do it, that. There we go, we got our temple blocks. Uh, what else did we need? We needed two of those. Not a big deal. Uh, two of these. Then we're gonna need quartz. We guess we just need 12 quartz. Make three mar marble so we can make slabs. Grab that, do this, do that, do not that, that, there we go, and there was one more thing, oh, the pedal, which I already have, excellent, Let's do that, do that, do that, we got our pedal, apothecary, we're gonna need one of these things of water, let's take that, grab this and that, we'll just throw them like right here for now, temporary setup, it'll end up on one of the islands by itself, well, one of the crags, I should say. Um, but yeah, not worried about it right now. Let's just take this, throw that there, and we're gonna need four. No, we just need some seeds. Seeds, there we go. And our petals. There we go. And just go throw those in there. Boom, and throw in a seed. And there we go. Get up here, Daisy. Gonna grab some dirt. Actually, just one dirt. Go. Yep. Do this. Be nice if I had a pick. Doesn't really matter where this goes, I guess. Let's just put it there. Need a place to make living wood and what should we call it? Living wood and whatever the other thing's called. I grab granite. That'd be a horrible thing to put plants on. Wouldn't grow very well at a wall. Uh, wall? <laughs> Wouldn't grow very well at all, would it? There we go. Pure Daisy. Uh, and these recipes changed. It's most of the reason why I'm showing this. Batania is all different in this. So the living wood is going to be witch wood planks. So we have witch wood. Let's see here, witch wood. It's in this one. There we go. I have the logs. I did nothing with them. Boop. We do not need that many. Let's get rid of that. I don't have an ax now either. That's gonna take forever to cut, but we'll have to deal with that. And I believe the other one is marble. It is, it's this marble, astral sorcery marble. So you're gonna have to find one of those temples. But uh, yeah, and yeah, it is fast. Wow, 
Okay, they ramped that up. Not gonna complain. But we'll grab that. And we'll start some of the witch wood as well. But I don't think we need that right away. There we go. Uh, so I should sleep really quick. Let's do that. And then we'll make our uh, thingamabobs. We'll make our pool. So we also got another step to make the pool, but we needed this anyway. Uh, we need nine of those, which we already have. We're going to throw nine of these in here because we got to make a block. And you can't just form block yourself. I don't think you can form a block. Let's see. I saw the recipe and just assumed, I guess. No, you cannot form the block. So let's throw it in there. Um, let's see here. Pool. We need our mana pool. So that, that, that. We already got a four living rock. We're going to have to do this. So we need two of those, four redstone, and this. But we're going to make the this part first. The mana glass. Mana glass has changed, as has most things. There we go. We're going to need that as well. So, and four glass. Do, do, do. We're going to have to make the metal alloy. It's at that point, and that thing is pretty crazy. I don't know why I put those in all in there. Not a big deal. Go. And uh, what was the first stage? Oh, yeah. We need the rose red. So now we need the metal alloy. Because that is how you make that uh, rose gold igots. So metal alloy. Boom. And this thing is from ATM Rock Hounding. And it was locked behind Dawnstone. And that's why we didn't have it before. We need three wood for bulls. Let's get that done. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. We do need two obsidian. I think I have my obsidian. Actually, I'm not sure where I put my obsidian. Here, maybe. Here, maybe. If I was obsidian. There we go. There we go. Make a pressure plate. Uh, what else do we need? Dawstone, and we're going to need more of this. So let's just do this. Not that. Let's do this. This. Do these. Gonna need one of those because I have no loose clay. I was getting too much, decided to combine it all, and now I have no spares. That'll give her our clay. Do yet another 9,000 furnaces. There we go. Here we go. Uh, did I grab sand? I grabbed limestone. That is fantastic. I should just trash that, to be honest. I, oh, I should actually make sure there's no recipes in this to take it, but I really doubt it. There we go. Get rid of that, that. And what else do we need? Just five metal plates, or iron plates. And the Daw Stone. Which I went ahead and made almost two stacks of. Well, we actually it was two stacks. No, it's three stacks. I made a bunch. Here it doubles up anyway, so it's not even that expensive, really. Gold's the most expensive part, part of course. There we go, and we got our alloy. Okay, so let's get to the, to this alloy. Oh, by the way, I also realized we're gonna need a second one of these uh, focus for the mana spreader. So I went ahead and made some more mana glass. Um, let's see here. So this metal alloy, it's really, it, it, it's kind of strange. It takes this fuel, so this stuff. I already mentioned that. Um, you can make it, but you have to make red coal and don't panic. You don't need the resonator right away. You can make a resonator and that is the cheaper way. Uh, but you can make it this way too. So as long as you have the redstone and the coal, you can make it. And, uh, it makes a good amount of it. Apparently it was like stack 64 for some of that glowstone. And what else was it? It was something else. And, uh, amber shard. So not that bad at all. Um, yeah. Anyway, this thing, it has some crazy recipes. So Let's go here. Alloy. There we go. There we go. Uh, use. So some basic recipes, but you notice it has six lots, and I don't think anything takes six lots. But see, that one takes five. Uh, see here, that one takes six. There you go. Now it makes your cordon steel. What's that used for? What is that used for? Oh, it's a uh, dyer for the infinity agate. There you go. Uh, pretty crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, we're not going to do that. We need to make, what is it called? Rose gold. So let's go to, um, doesn't even matter. Let's go to the pool. Yep. The pool is going to take 
two of these rose gold each so we need four uh, to make this stuff in here is going to take gold copper and silver so let's do that how much does one recipe output actually I should check that Ooh, whoa 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 there we go one recipe is going to output nine so that's not that bad grab that stuff where'd i put it i had dust and stuff oh i see it here i hadn't made enough for two because i wasn't sure so i can cut the stacks in half and store the rest because nine is more than enough for right now and i do not want to waste fuel in this thing Try three, put that there, and I think we need the cast as well. So let's go to ingot and that. So we need six iron. Grab that. Is that iron? Yeah. There's so many white, slightly white colored ingots in this that it keeps confusing me every time I have to check for things. Of course, I grab one less iron than I need. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that and that and we're gonna cast and we'll throw that puppy in there and hopefully it gets going right off the hop it does definitely not enough fuel in there probably still not enough but uh, pretty simple machine and we can switch this thing over to RF later uh, what is it called induction this thing induction induction heating interface Take some iron and this stuff. Nichrome, which I haven't really looked at yet because we need chromium. And all it tells me is I need a chemical extractor. So I'm going to have to figure that out later. But uh, we will get to that. Uh, so we got the rose gold now. Uh, we got this. I know we're going to need some redstone. Oh, this one. There we go. And let's take a, ch take a look here. One, two, three, four. Might need more of this. Let's go take a look. Uh, let's just go to pool. Start the crafting, I guess. So you need two. Oh no, we're good. We are good. That. Do that again. That'll give us our lesser focus. Go here. Do those. Our standards and there's our mana focus these are our magic items that's just kind of thrown into the recipe I guess we just need this I think I only made one let's make one more because at first I was not thinking but that only take a second and we can make our pool anyway and have a pool there we go so let's look at the pool there we go oh that gives you two pools I don't even need that oh well uh, <laughs> Two pools. Oh, no, no. I still need it because I need to make the mana spreader. That's weird that it gives you two pools, though. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Uh, this is all temporary, so I'm not really concerned. Let's do this. Do that. I uh, need a place for a piece of dirt. I'll uh, start here. Do that. Yo, we're going to use that endo flame it gave us. Do that. And I guess we just need... Where is it? Compressor. There we go. And we are going to need a mana spreader. So let's go to the mana spreader. Not look at that. Let's look at a crafting table. There we go. Of course, it would only give us one for this. That's dirty. Why would it give us two pools? <laughs> okay, we won't worry about that pool right now. It's not very much use to us. We shouldn't need more anyway. I don't really want that. I want it on top. That's all wrong. Feels like it's gonna break. <laughs> uh, we also need the wand of the forest. I kind of forget that. Wand of the forest. So boom, we're gonna need this. So six living wood. We do not have enough extra. So I should do that real quick. And I should mention too, um, when you start Batania in this pack, don't bother making your lexicon. Um, just hit L and grab one. <laughs> you can just go boom. And you're good to go. Um, <laughs> kind of forgot that. I haven't done that yet. There we go. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Wand of the Forest. 
Grab that. We got our wood now. I really got to make an axe because cutting this living wood is taking forever. There we go. And it should be just two petals still. Yes, it is. So two of any petals. We got one. Let's grab something else. Doesn't matter. Whatever color you want. We have the most of this, so we'll use this. There we go. We'll have a white and red one. Sounds fantastic. White and red. There we go. There's our wanted forest. Gonna grab that. Link that up to that. We're going to do that and link that. So just, yeah. If right click, right click. If right click, right click. It's kind of like embers, actually, when you think about it. Okay, let's throw a piece of coal in here. There we go. Good work. There we go. Transferring mana. Why is that linked up? What mode is this? Fine mode. There we go. Why is it trying to link? Some random block. There we go. Getting mana. That's cool. Well, that's working too. How much is that? Not much at all. But it's going. I'm curious. Let's find, grab a piece of steel. Sometimes those things that tell you, not things, the guide that tells you how much this takes doesn't display right in the book. In the book, in the thing here. So let's look at, what am I even talking about? Let's start that over and make sense. So we want to make mana steel. <laughs> so mana steel. Let's go there. The mana steel here shows the recipe, shows the price. Sometimes this isn't always right. So let's take a look and uh, see if we can make one yet. We can make one. There we go. There's one. How much mana do we have left? We still have mana. There we go. We can make another one. Let's can we make a third? We have a three mana steel. That is what I was trying to say. And now it kind of made sense. <laughs> Tool forge. Okay. What do we have left that we need? We need our block of night slime, which we still need to make. A uh, block of aluminum brass, which we also need to make, which I forget what the recipe is. Copper and aluminum. Uh, let's see here. Aluminum. Copper. Uh, we're going to need some purple slime. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is dense steel. So let's grab this. Let's go into here. Let's grab our forge hammer. Let's turn this into plates. Uh, we're going to need that and that. I thought that could make plates. Can the hammers not work on these? That kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, plates. Let's just throw it in here and see if it works. <laughs> I bet you anything it's compressor. Let's go here. Steel plate. No, we want dense steel, right? Dense steel. There we go. There, compressor. Excellent. Let's throw 18 of these in here. Then go make the alloys that we need. And okay, we got our uh, block of night slime. We just need a block of aluminum brass. And I forget what it was. <laughs> it was aluminum and copper, wasn't it? So let's look at that one. Aluminum brass. I put way more pink slime in there than I needed, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to have to pull that out somewhere so sometime. Uh, I don't think you can pour blocks with that. Um, so it's one to four. So two copper and six aluminum should do it. No, that'd make eight. Let's do three copper, nine aluminum. Let's do... Two, two, three, and nine aluminum. Ooh, that stuff burns quick. And you see, yeah, I got seven buckets of uh, seven buckets and a bit of liquid purple slime in there. I'll have to pull that out with a tank or something. <laughs> not hurting anything though. It's not going to mix with anything right now. That's making aluminum brass. Oh, it's so slow. I miss. I know the why they made it slower. Tinkers used to be really overpowered. Crossbows were insane. Um, tinkers was faster than most of the other uh, smelting methods. I understand why they slowed it down, but just waiting for it when you want it. So you just want your block. 
just give it to me. The fluid mixing, especially the cooling down in some of the blocks, is pretty bad too. But uh, one block three, I guess that that is exactly as much as I thought it would be. So that is cool. What? Oh, it's not on bottom. Dude, have I even tinkered before? And there we go. We got our dense steel plates. I actually forgot to uh, make them in the plates first. I just made blocks in the compressor like a derp. But uh, now we have it. We are good to go. We should be able to make a tool forge. And there we go. We have it. We have it. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, we could make a katana. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have it. I am definitely going to make a shuriken. And I am definitely going to make... A lumber axe, and I'm definitely making a hammer. Those are three absolute must-haves. I might make an excavator, too. Just deal with uh, gravel and stuff as well. Gravel and sand. Ah, uh, I will. I will. I mean, those resources are easy. I just need to figure out what we're going to make them out of. Um, yeah, because I'm not really sure. <laughs> I've been kind of just looking and going, what do I have a lot of, and what's decent? And what's good, good decent durability? Um... And we can swap out the parts later. That's the joy. So say like when this pickaxe, like right now, I could make this thing unbreakable and go, I just want to build it for speed after that point, right? Don't have to put anything else on it. Just pure speed. Um, yeah. So we're pretty good. We're good. We're good. We're amazing. We're cool. We're fantastic. And uh, we're good to go. We have a tool forge. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm pumped. I've been wanting this thing for about four episodes now. And uh, I'm very happy we get it. Did we complete anything? Yes, we did. We have our tool forge. What's that give us? Aluminum brass of all things. I might take the mending moss. Because I think that was more expensive than this one. Mending moss. A recipe? No. Gotta look at this. This is fine. I think it was bookcases. Are bookcases wonky in this one? I think they are. Oh, they just take living wood. We could do that now. Hmm. Okay. Obsidian's more expensive to me, so let's take that. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> there we go. Not a big deal. Let's panic for nothing. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to head to anything else today. I think that is it. I think we did Batania. We have started that. We're good to go. Um wonder if I only have to make one more for it to make the realize that one. Oh, and living rock. Let's do that one really quick. Uh, let's grab some more marble. Should only need the eight more. If so, that'll be done. Let's see if it recognizes it. A couple of them haven't. Some of them do. They seem to remember what you did. Here gonna want us to have all of them on it it's gonna be that one or one of those ones I should say go yep. claim reward rewards and just random foods that I don't really care about I like steak and chips there we go now we have that done it would like one more man of steel I should have paid attention to this because now I'm probably going to have to make four more mana steel, which is fine. Because uh, I think mana steel was able to be used in tinkers. Mana steel. That might try it out. It probably mana. I don't know what that effect means, but might as well try it and find out. Oh, that's still charged anyway. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. I think it's pretty cool. We got our, uh, we got our tool forge. I'll be able to make lots of good tools now. Be able to hammer out our hammer, get our excavator, and uh, get ourselves a shuriken. And a shuriken is going to be my go-to weapon for the playthrough. I only made this bow for the short term. But once we have a shuriken, I can go into the nether whenever I want. Because once that has five modifiers, and I can, it'll be the first thing I make in breakable of reinforcements. Uh, it'll just be a go-to weapon. Um, Tinkers, once you finally get to it and get the uh, get there... The modifiers are easy in this pack, so I'm not worried about that. The hard part was getting to this tool forge. So we have this now. We'll be able to mine fast. I'll be able to hammer out resources, and I'll be able to actually start slowing down a bit and building a base 
I, I would like to actually have a base. We just kind of have some platforms and some machines right now at this point that make no sense and is all willy nilly. But we are going to get to that. But this was the point I wanted to get to, and we're here. So fantastic. Anyway. As usual, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Uh, as always, I want everyone to have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.